so um i look a little bit ridiculous right now i'm just waking up still have on my pajamas scarf all that jazz okay so this video is how i obtain my curls with my clip-ins without actually applying heat to my actual hair um and i think this is really really important because um as you guys know, I'm in a transition from going from sew-ins to three-fours and three-fours to clip-ins. Um, I will be going back to a three-fours at the end of this month, but right now I'm really just rocking my clip-ins, loving it, loving my hair, having a break from being braided and sewed down for so many years and everything. So this video is just how I achieve curly hair when I want to wear my clip-ins. Um, and again, without applying any heat whatsoever to my own hair, which is very important, especially if you're on a hair journey, because the heat damage you can obtain from wearing clip-ins is pretty outrageous because um, you're constantly trying to blend your hair in. But this way works for me. I hope you guys, you know, look at the technique that I'm using, follow it, and it works for you also. So getting started, my hair is just wrapped up. Um, I wrap it every night. I take my clip-ins out and wrap it every night. On my hair, I use this olive oil um oil moisture hair lotion i use about a dime size of this throughout my entire head before i wrap it and um, i really like this stuff actually if you guys want to see a review on this let me know so um and then the clip-ins i'm using are my clip-ins that i made these are like two day old curls um and to achieve these curls i just flexi rotted it um so if you want to see how i get the curls let me know but they're just flexi rods um nothing special this is the virgin brazilian hair from flyby uh, barbersupply.com okay so this is the hair that i'm going to be using okay and this video also is kind of like a how to install also because i'm gonna show you guys how i install it and my wraps are never perfect by the way but anyway so, um, all you're going to need for this is your fingers and a wide tooth comb. The wide tooth comb is to take down your wrap. Fingers are to help install. So, taking my wide tooth comb, I'm going to comb my wrap down. And I'm just combing through it, not worrying about styling it right now because... All I'm going to do is um, comb it back. And the reason why I comb it straight to the back is because um, it's just easier when I try to do the clippings, combing it back. So combing it straight to the back like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take my first piece, which just looks like this. Okay, it has the curls, all right? Now, what I did um, in order to achieve this look without straightening my hair, I had to leave my hair stops about there in the back on this clip. So I just curled the end. So that way my hair blends with the straight and then it curls, okay? So that's pretty much the technique you want to get. You want to kind of know where your hair falls on each of your clips. So that way you can um, get it to blend a little easier. So taking my clip gonna make sure that they are open you know this is the clothes and make sure that they're open taking my fingers I start right at my earlobe and go straight back you can go as low and as high as you like I'm just gonna show you guys really quick like that okay and then I don't use anything to pin my hair because I don't want my hair to, my hair creases really fast so just holding this hair up, I'm going to take my clip and clip it in. Like that. So it is clipped in just like that. All right. And now I have a curl there, okay? So like when I bring it forward, it's curled at the ends. Looks crazy now because I need to put more in. But yeah, then I take my fingers, go into the, this little thing here. I don't know what it's called, but this part of your ear, I just go here and go 
back for my second row and I'm actually going to go to the top of my ear because I put that last one a little higher and I'm just separating it bringing some hair down alright then I'm just going to take my second clip in and clip it And I know which clip goes where because when I take them out, I take them out in, in order. So that way I lay them in order. So that way when I get ready to put them back in, I just go from the top and pop them right back in. And they're the same. So curls are starting to be there. Obviously, it's not blended yet. Okay, and starting here. Same thing. And I'm going to try to do this really quickly, you guys, so you, I can get to the top so you guys can actually see what's going on. Just so you can see. So I'm going to do this part pretty quickly. So just watch. Um, just installing them. Usually it takes me about three minutes to do my clip-ins. <laughs> Once you get the hang of it, it is pretty easy. Fairly, fairly, fairly easy. I need to bring that back. So it's fairly easy, like I was saying. Once you get the hang of it. For some reason, this one won't snap. All right. Okay, so as you guys see, it's starting to blend a little better. Just going to... okay so I've done all of my back pieces and as you can see it's starting to work out I'm on my last two clips and these two are the ones I use to do like my front part so this part can vary depending on how you want it to look if you want more of a side bang then you would bring it obviously more over if you want middle part you obviously bring it to the side if you want like a off the middle like I do then watch this okay so my hair is really long over here so it blends really easily however my hair here because of years of leave out it's a lot shorter so I have to bring it up pretty much like I would a regular track and then cover it here I can bring it pretty low and then just blend my hair in the way that I prefer so taking my finger I'm going to part kind of like at the arch of my brow parting straight back and normally people that do clip-ins they use shorter pieces for this I don't I just bring it all the way around um and I really don't have a reason why I do that I just do but taking this piece and the pieces are already layered also so the front part is a little longer to the back And I'm just going to um, have them open again. And I'm going to clip it down right there. Right there. And bringing it all the way over right there. 
okay and then you see how that blends in really good I don't know if you guys can see it because of my background but see how it just blends in you can't even tell that my real hair is straight okay so blending that down blending that over and then again you guys you see how my hair just blends right on in doesn't even look like my hair is straight at all and these end pieces are kind of crazy looking but okay so this side is all done pretty much um yeah it's pretty much all done i'll put in pictures so you guys can see a better clip of how my hair blends in naturally with it so on this side since my hair is shorter i part pretty much a little um in front of my arch going straight back and with clip-ins you guys you can lay them any way that you like there's no guideline or preference as to how you have to lay it so it's almost like you have leave out and I'm just going to take this one and bring it up fairly close to my hairline just because that hair is so short and then Sometimes these things don't want to clip for some reason, but, and then bringing this up to create that little bang, and then I'm just going to bring my hair back and blend it right on top, like that, okay, and this is how I achieve curls without applying any heat whatsoever to my natural hair okay and as you guys can see it's fully blended and again I'm going to put pictures because the lighting is kind of off but you see that okay so it's pretty easy I hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you guys have any questions, feel free to put them below. If you want to guys see more hair tutorials, let me know. I am going to start doing hair uh, professionally again, meaning I'm going to start taking clients again. And I am based in Atlanta, if you don't know. Um, so I'm going to start doing that again. And um, so if you want to see more hair tutorials, more hair tutorials, me doing other people's hair, things like that, let me know down below. And I'll be more than happy to share that with you guys. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. And stay tuned for pictures right about... Now.